Unexpectedly, well-known evangelist and pastor T.D. Jakes has found himself at the center of a scandal that has shocked his church and the entire globe. The well-known preacher, well-known for his stirring speeches and extensive ministry, was reportedly driven out of the potter's house by enraged disciples. This shocking episode has led to a plethora of inquiries and conjecture over Jake's leadership and the reasons for the strong pushback. The usually serene environment of the well-known megachurch headed by Pastor T.D. Jakes, the potter's residence, burst into anarchy and mayhem on a crucial day. What started out as an ordinary Sunday service quickly turned into a spectacular confrontation that made headlines around the country. The crowd, which is normally lively and animated, seemed nervous and uncomfortable. When Pastor Jakes, who is well known in the Christian world for his eloquent sermons and substantial influence, took the pulpit to deliver his weekly sermon, chaos broke out. But as soon as he began to speak, a wave of displeasure rippled through the assembly, with a number of people publicly expressing their unhappiness. Though it was obvious that something was off, none could have predicted what would happen next. For some time, there has been a growing tension among the church leadership due to allegations of financial mismanagement and Jake's extravagant lifestyle. Jesus, I need you in my life. I confess my sins. Got up from their seats and went straight up to the pastor. Witnesses recounted a chaotic scenario in which enraged supporters pushed past security officers who attempted to intervene and surged toward the pulpit. A number of irate guests got up and started yelling at T.D. Jakes, accusing him of misguiding them and taking advantage of their religion. As more individuals joined in, the mood turned hostile swiftly, with a climax of fury. Startled by the unexpected outcry, T.D. Jakes attempted to quiet the mob, but it was too late. The furious members of the congregation expressed their displeasure and dissatisfaction with the pastor by allegedly dragging T.D. Jakes out of the Potter's House Church. These disillusioned followers felt deceived and wanted responsibility from their spiritual leader, despite the fact that their grievances varied greatly. Common themes included charges of financial impropriety, a lack of openness in church operations, and perceived departures from key religion beliefs. Worshippers pushed and yelled at one another, and some even turned violent as the commotion got worse. As soon as things got out of hand, local officials had to step in to bring everything back under control and scatter the gathering. Many were in shock at the violent and chaotic events. Nobody has ever seen this side of T.D. Jake before. Everything that happened to the once respected pastor, including being treated like a criminal, was caught on camera and shown to the public. Social media was ablaze with thoughts and conjectures as soon as word of the occurrence began to circulate speculating on what would have caused such drastic events. While some thought T.D. Jakes had strayed from biblical principles, others suspected him of financial misconduct. For whatever reason, T.D. Jakes was obviously no longer the untouchable man he once was. The Potter's House Church experienced a decrease in its membership, as some members believed that this particular occurrence was the tipping point in their mounting disillusionment with T.D. Jakes. The once thriving community was reduced to a ghost of its former self as it dealt with the hurt of its beloved pastor's betrayal. The Potter's House congregation and T.D. Jakes suffered greatly as a result of this terrible incident. The episode attracted a lot of media attention, with comments and arguments abounding on social media and in the press. Jakes's supporters asserted that this was a singular episode brought about by a small number of unhappy people. On the other hand, detractors claimed that the incident revealed more serious problems with the church and its leadership. Unbelievably, T.D. Jakes has made news once more. This time, he is said to have embezzled church monies to support his lavish lifestyle. The accusations also suggest a highly developed financial plan that involves money laundering and is intended to conceal the real source of embezzled monies. According to reports, Millions of money were misappropriated for unlawful investments and personal use, which damaged his organization's reputation among the public and the religious community. 
When several members of Jake's congregation spotted irregularities in the church's financial records, the controversy broke. According to sources, T.D. Jakes transferred large amounts of money from church funds into his own or his controlled businesses' accounts. Originally intended for religious and philanthropic reasons, these money were misappropriated. Jakes is also charged with opening several bank accounts, both locally and abroad, and enabling intricate transactions that hid the source of the funds. A portion of the embezzled money was purportedly utilized to finance the acquisition of opulent homes, expensive cars, and lavish trips, activities that may conceal the money's illegal source through collateralized loans or asset sales. T.D. Jakes is also accused of using shell companies in his financial transactions. These organizations only function to obfuscate illicit money trails, not for legitimate commercial objectives. There are rumors that he moved some money to offshore accounts in countries with laxer financial laws in order to avoid regulatory attention and make it more difficult to find and retrieve the money. These alleged activities are said to have created a complex network that hides the real source of embezzled money, making it difficult for authorities to find and hold those accountable for the money. The worst that could happen if, 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 if everything was true, all I gotta do is repent sincerely from my heart. Despite all that was going on in his life, T.D. Jakes never wavered in his conviction that he could turn his life around and win back the confidence of his supporters. In a string of sincere apologies and public statements, T.D. Jakes admitted his mistakes and promised to make amends. Many others found great resonance in his statements, which portrayed him as a penitent sinner worthy of another opportunity. After some time, the Potter's House Church recovered from the scandal's wreckage and started to mend. T.D. Jakes, feeling ashamed and repentant, resolved to adopt a life of service and humility in order to prove that he was deserving of his followers' pardon. Unexpectedly, some of the people who had shunned him began to come back. Their confidence in T.D. Jakes rekindled by his unflinching dedication to atonement. The Potter's House Church had a serious crisis of faith and leadership in the wake of the catastrophe. After decades of meticulous work, Jakes had transformed the church into an enormous empire. Now he was at the center of a controversy that threatened to destroy his legacy. The Potter's House upheaval had far-reaching effects on the Christian community, sparking wider conversations about the need for accountability transparency, and the moral use of power in the church. For Pastor Jock, the experience was both daunting and humble, forcing him to face the complex realities of leading a megachurch in the 21st century. A surprising result of the crisis was the rise of a new generation of church leaders, motivated by the bravery of the faithful who defied Jakes, who used the chance to push for more openness and democratic leadership in the evangelical movement.